Moving on, Mike Gundy. Let's talk about the, uh, the Arkansas waterfall, right? The Oklahoma rattlesnake. All kinds of different stuff going on here. Gundy, uh, so I was looking back. It kind of felt like whenever they're expected to be good, it, you know, wait till the next season. The next season. That's happened a couple of times in the past. Doesn't happen every time, though. So, with that said, uh, their win total is 7.5 here. Juice is minus 115 over and under. I, you know, uh, it went 8-3 and three last year. 8-5 and five the year before that. FPI has got them going eight and four. SP Plus got them going eight and four. Like eight seems to be their number. So you know, looking at the schedule, look at like they got Spencer Sanders back, uh, running back LD Boom uh, uh, or Brown. Sorry, like <laughs> uh, LD Brown is back, and and he kind of played better than Chuba did last year. So um, they got a wealth of skill talent, like new guys coming in. They got three offensive line starters back. The offense is rarely the problem under Mike Gundy. Um, but the numbers haven't been fantastic under Spencer Sanders. So I do kind of expect improvement this year. I mean, Sanders going into his third season, I expect good things. Eight starters and 11 of 12 top tacklers return on defense. Uh, they only allowed 28 points per game last season. That was down from 38 points per game the year before that. Like, cor- uh, cornerback Christian Holmes transfers in from Missouri to kind of help shore up the secondary a little bit. The road games at Texas... Iowa State, West Virginia, and Boise are going to be kind of tough to navigate. And then, of course, you got Oklahoma at home. I think they can get to eight. Yep. I, I 100% think they can get to eight. I, I think they're closer to nine than they are to eight. I so, agree with that. So I'm, I'm going to roll with Oklahoma State over the seven and a half at minus 115. Um, yeah. That's yeah. the answer. That's the answer. Yes. That's the answer. I like OK State. I do think they'll be better this year than they were supposed to be last year. Um, they'll look more like what our projections were last year than this year. Um and uh, and yeah, I think I this think is... they had some they had locker room problems before the season last season that kind of hurt them. But they they still won eight games last they, year. But they got a lot of talent. Yeah, they still got a lot of talent. This I don't know what happened to this offense last year. Okay, they tried to switch from being an all offensive juggernaut and play great defense and bad defense, which is what they've always been. To we're going to slow the game down, we're going to slow the pace down, and then we're going to play great defense. And they did that. They did that for half the year. And I think Mike Gundy lost his damn mind and said, no, we're going back to my way of playing football because my way of playing football is a hell of a lot better than this. And We're going to put up 35 points a game, and we're going to say, catch me if you can. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm curious. I'm very curious what uh, what will end up happening here. So I think that they are good enough to make the, the conference title game. I also think that they like, – I just don't see them losing – more than four games. No. I just, I, I can't see that. that so. the, I can't see that as a floor. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.